Welcome back to Educator.com's English Grammar course. This lesson is on pronouns. Let's get started. All right, we're going to begin with a brief lesson overview. We're going to ask, what is a pronoun? What is it? How does it work? And we're going to look at the many different kinds of pronouns. Personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, reflexive pronouns, relative pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, and interrogative pronouns. That's a lot of pronouns. And finally, we're going to focus on how to tell pronouns apart from adjectives, because they do different things, so you have to be aware of which one's which. All right, what is a pronoun? Well, pronoun comes from the Latin pro, meaning for, and nomen, meaning name. Now, now we studied nouns in our last lesson, so pronouns stand in for nouns, for names. A pronoun takes the place of one or more nouns. It can also take the place of a phrase or a clause. We'll go into that in a minute. And pronouns are used to avoid repetition. You wouldn't say, Bob went to the store, Bob bought milk, Bob went back to Bob's house in Bob's car. You get really repetitive with the Bob. So you use pronouns. Bob went to the store, he bought milk, he went, he went to his house in his car, and so on. All right, we begin with personal pronouns. Personal pronouns refer to specific people or things. So, there are singular and plural personal pronouns, singular I, me, you, she, her, he, him, and it. Notice the it that can take the place of an awful lot of different things. Now, the plural version, we, us, you again, they, and them. All of these words can stand in for people or things. Let's look at some examples. All right, see if you can find the personal pronouns in these sentences. I love you. Do you know them? We love it. And she told me that he was coming to visit us. Take a good look, pause the video if you need to, see if you can find the personal pronouns. All right, I love you. I takes the place of the speaker's name, and you takes the place of the person being addressed. Do you know them? You, again, takes the place of the person being addressed. Them takes the place of the names of all the people you're talking about. We takes the place of the names of all the people doing the talking. Love it takes the place of whatever they love. She takes the place of a girl's or woman's name. Told me takes the place of the speaker's name. That he, third person again, was coming to visit us. Once again, it saves you an awful lot of name repetition.